This is Math Week 21, the Associative Law. If you look really closely here, I have a little map here drawn, and my assistant here is gonna fill in the letters as we sing the song. You just have to remember where the open and close parentheses go. And if you study it long enough, it's pretty easy to see here because it looks like two eyeballs here on the edges. You see, two eyeballs here on the edges. All right, here's our song, you ready? You ready, Assistant Hazel? Mm -hmm. All right. The Associative Law for Addition states A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. The Associative Law for Multiplication a times B times C equals A, oh, 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 we dropped a pin, equals A times B times C. Now stick around and we're going to test this law with some real numbers. Back to our associative law for addition. We are going to test this theory. Hazel, can you show everybody, what does four represent? That's right. What does the two represent? B. What about six? C. What about the other side? Uh-huh. Yep. So A equals four. B equals two. C equals six. All right. Let's solve this. We always want to do our parentheses first according to our order of operations. So let's start there. What does four plus two equal? Good. Okay, you're gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say do the other side. Okay, bring down that equal sign. Now start with the parentheses on the other side. What, what do we have over there? Oh, okay, you're, okay, you're gonna bring it down. Okay, now what is two plus six? There you go. Now, we have six plus six. What does that equal? That's right. Bring that equal sign down. What is four plus eight equal? <gasps> Look at that! It checked out. That gives us two thumbs up. Very good. This is the associative law of, mul of multiplication. We're gonna test our theory. Now here, A equals two, B equals one, C equals three. You ready to test our, our theory? Oh, hey, Hazel's gonna write it on there so we can see. Let's, let's test our um, theory. All right, so where do you start? You start with the parentheses first, good. Two times one is? Uh-huh, two. Bring down that multiplication sign. Uh-huh, times three equals? Bring down the two times. Now, what is one times three? What is one times three? Three. Three, very good. Now, let's solve. What is two times three? Six. Six, very good, six. Bring down that equal sign, six equals what is two times three? Very good. The same thing that's over here has to equal the same thing that's over there. And that's what this is saying too. This is our law. Is our law correct? Yes. 